Jive Hive Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you can see, I did a series on rebuilding an old Mallory dual point distributor for a small block Chrysler. Uh, this one specifically was, you know, a package deal for like the 340. Uh, I'm new to it. I've done them in the past, but I'm getting back into it. And I kept on saying I had a surprise, a new toy coming. Um, so last night, myself, Eddie the Expert, and Kyle, we went up to the south side of Chicago, specifically the Berwyn area, and I had purchased a new toy um, probably a month or two ago, and one of Eddie's friends, Alex, was graciously nice enough to store this for me until I had the time to come pick it up. So last night, we made the journey up there, <clears throat> went and visited some of his friends, picked up my new toy, went to Cigars and Stripes, Went to another place called Paisons. We ate a lot of really good food, had a really good time, got home super late. But it was really nice to be able to hang out with those guys, meet some of Eddie's friends that he grew up with there. And overall, it was a really, really good night. <clears throat> but where I'm going with that is, is these old Marley dual point distributors, any distributor per se, you got to set the dwell on it. There's different ways to do the mechanical advance or vacuum advance, anything on these. And you can actually do that by putting it in the car and tuning it from there or you can do it a different way. Back in the day, there was a company called Sun, and they made all kinds of diagnostic equipment um, for automotive industry, and they were a really good brand. And coincidentally, they were also made in Chicago, Illinois. So it wasn't surprising what I ended up purchasing was found in Chicago, Illinois. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I was able to purchase at a really good price. And so yeah, let's go check it out. See you in a few. All right, well, here it is. Here's the surprise that I was talking about that I purchased a while ago. Uh, due to me being really busy working on the 1968 Thunderbird and everyone else being really busy, um, I, it took me a long time to actually go pick this up. Once again, I got to give a really big shout out to Eddie and his friend Alex uh, for helping arrange, be able to hold on to this for me. Um, but yeah, this is a Sun 404 distributor testing machine. This actually came out of a high school shop class, and that high school decided to sell off a bunch of equipment. I found it like right away and bought it up. Um, Jimmy and I had talked about a lot of different things, and this is one piece of equipment that he's been looking for for a very long time. So I got a really good deal on it. I'm not going to say the price, but I can tell you what, it was absolutely dirt cheap. So what this thing does is you actually have like your distributor here. Now, mind you, I still don't know exactly how to use this. I know the basics of it, but Jimmy's going to show me on how to do this. So you have your distributor machine. You have your distributor. This actually goes in to a slot in here. You go ahead and you lock the housing in place. And it's like chucked like a drill. You go ahead and you tighten that up. And what this thing does, it actually spins it. You can go in there and you can set your degrees of dwell. This is distributor RPM. This is vacuum. There's a whole bunch of different things that Jimmy showed me on like how, or talked to me on how you can actually do all of this. And there's a neat way where you can make a bar that's grounded where you can take your spark plug wires, run it to, and you can actually, you know, watch them go through and fire each plug, make sure that works on there. You can set up a Vance on this. You can do literally everything you'd want to do to set up a distributor without having to do it in a car. Uh, these are still available out there. Um, a lot of times they're kind of rough, need to be repaired. I know Tall John's got one. I did tell Tall John about th getting this, and he gave me a lot of good advice. Now that I have it, Tall John, I'm probably going to be giving you a call to kind of go over and discuss a little bit more. So long story short, I'm going to learn how to really use one of these machines so when I rebuild these distributors, I can set them up correctly for whatever application in advance and have them ready to go. So if anybody has any old distributors, uh, my email is actually in our page description in the bio. Get a hold of me. Um, I'm going to be looking for these um, just so I can you know, start learning a new hobby, maybe make an extra few bucks here and there, and just really overall have some fun with it. I know Austin from Junkyard Jets. I've talked to him a few times. He's done some videos. He absolutely loves these old Mallory uh, dual point distributors too. I don't blame him. They're a really cool unit. So Austin, expect a text from me because I'll probably be reaching out to you on a lot of this stuff too. Um, in today's world with everything going on, supply chain issues and everything else, 
you do see a lot of people starting to redo a lot of these old distributors and that's kind of where I want to learn on how to do a lot of that stuff so yeah so this is the Sun 404 machine that I purchased kind of give you a quick walk around of it it is missing a knob which I can find but yeah this is pretty freaking neat even came with a nice base cabinet it's got a bunch of different little test machines oh and I did get the original uh, manuals and all that with it but yeah so yeah this is the Sun 404 distributor testing machine see you guys tomorrow